tell the duck. Mind if I interrupt? Nay. My prayers are in vain anyways. Here you're having trouble with a curse. I... I am. Look. See it lying there. A horse head on the pole. That's... A nithing. Kind of curse. Seen this before. They're nothing to scoff at. Can bring misfortune, even death. Aye. And the name carved upon it is Tialva. My firstborn. Boy, he's feverish. Grows weaker by the day. I fear I'll bury him before the next moon. Tried to lift the curse myself, but... I can help you, one of two ways. First, I can try to convince whoever put up the nithing to lift the curse themselves. Second, I can deflect the curse back on whoever cast it by writing their name on the shaft. Either way, need to know who's behind this. But I don't trouble no one. Don't know a soul who'd wish it upon me. Mm-hmm. Guess I gotta investigate. There's truth to that blather by the ice giant. A nithing. A powerful curse. Name carved on the shaft. Tialva, son of Lothar. Trails fresh. Hmm. Might want to look around some. What is this? Woman's shawl. Distinctive pattern. Distinctive smell. It's clearing up. Too many scents. Can't follow my nose any further. Need to ask around about the shawl. Aye? What's it you need? Any chance you know who wore this shawl? Of course. Yona, our herbalist, lives there, in that hut. Oh, she'll be pleased you found it for her. Yeah, real pleased. Vagabond. Found your shawl near Lothar's house by the nithing you put up there. How did you know? Had a hunch. Thanks for confirming it. You know Tialva's got one foot in the grave. Good. That bastard should never have been born. Me, I was to be Lothar's bride, but he cast me aside for that flounder. Getting his comeuppance now. Him and that whole plowing family. You'd kill a child out of jealousy? Are you serious? It is not jealousy, but dignity that matters here. Ten years we lived side by side. Ten years I cooked for him, washed his breeches, shared me bed. And he abandoned me with nary a word. The whole village laughed. Stupid bent Yona let herself be had. No, I have not been had. Nor have I forgot. Want you to lift the curse. I mean it. Fine, I'll do it. But I've my terms. Lothar's to renounce his son and come back to me. I'll be sure to tell him. 
but I think we both know what his answer will be. Type a mile away. Hey, Mons. Well, yeah, that's what the. Well, ask me later. You know who placed the knifing? Old friend of yours, Yona. I might have guessed. Jealous bitch! Can't stand to see others happy. So? Will she lift the curse? Yeah, sure. All you gotta do is renounce your family and go back to her. Nay. Never! My wife. My son. I'd strip them of honor. Condemn them to poverty. You've gotta break the spell, Witcher. Let her die! Can't do that. Yona doesn't deserve it. And my son? Does he? No. But he doesn't have to die. You have a choice. All right. If it'll save Chalva, I'll go back to the hussy. And you... Best not see your face round here again. you. First outlander to seek a place in the hero's pursuits. Will you ride here too? There's room for you if you want. Yeah, yeah, I'll ride. Might even win. If your arse is as tough as your talk, who knows? Listen up, folks! Race is about to start! Running for the glory, the great mum or speedy Oswald. Lonely boy Svan! And Geralt of Rivia! Grab your bridles and hang on to your saddles! Ride on for Freya! Keep your distance, vagrant! Speedy Oswald! <laughs> Keep your distance, vagrant! No one can I race Speedy Oswald! <laughs> Twas as you said it would be. You won. Glory's yours, as is the prize. And if it's not enough for you, these three victories, there's always the great race on Hindersfjall. But winning there's a tall order. Perfectly honest, I did not think you'd win even one race, yet here you've gone and won three. Well, you've earned the right to ride in the great race, but do you think you're ready for it? 
I was born ready. Let's start this. Careful. It's a great honor and a great danger. The time has come for the great race. Riding for glory of Freya will be Geralt of Rivia and last year's champion, Astrid the Vipress. Run, Roach. Keep your distance, Drifter. Out of the way, Roach, can you? Keep your distance, Drifter. Come on. The hero's pursuit is done. Geralt of Rivier has outridden Astrid the Vipress, the White Wolf. Our dark horse has won. Lovely race. The goddess must be pleased. As should you be with your prize. Not bad, gotta admit. Don't know where I'll be a year from now, but I'll try to come back. They're tired. Turns out they spoke the truth about you. You dimwit! Drop one more and I'll keelhaul you! Got a minute? Prepare my boat, can't you see? Nilfgaardian dogs were the hunter's sump. Got bigger game in mind. Morkvarg. Ah, so them's your apples. A rate right, ask away. In praise of Freya. You were there when Morkvarg raided the garden. Heard you alone survived. True. I managed to flee. Great Mother was looking out for me that day. Mm -hmm. But she didn't give a lick about the priestesses. Apparently. Mokvarg had them bound and slit their throats like horses for the sacrifice. And he laughed. Understand? He laughed. But Archpriestess Over cursed him with her dying breath. You are beastly now. Remain so forevermore. Ah, saintly woman. What happened to Mork Varg? Hard to believe, but fur rose through his skin, and his mug stretched forth into a muzzle like a dog's or a wolf's. He howled, long and grieving, then lunged at his men. They tried to run, but he was fast as lightning. As he killed them, clamped his jaws round their throats, they turned to ash, just like that. Ash that seeped from twixt his fangs. Not good. Curse must be complex, multi leveled. Such is the Great Mother's power. Didn't help the priestesses. Why not? How could I? Alone against a dozen raiders that. Why are you staring? Just wondering. You people, obsessed with honor, courage, and so on. But you just cut and run? Strange. I ain't proud of it. Since that day, I've been seeking a worthy death at sea. Seems the goddess, she's not seen fit to summon me. Yet. Thanks for your help. Goddess, guide your sword. You no respect for our customs. No. Not you wonder if he's as strong as he is. Get here.
so fast, Roach. Lots of prints, old and new. His lair must be nearby. Where's the key? All I have in the chapter house. The crate, but the key. Where's the key? Why so silent, Ramund? You thief, you rogue, you whore son, you worthless bastard! I will find the key without you, <laughs> idiot, stupid prick! Have a bite of this. Ought to lift the curse. Better be true, or I'll rip you, tread you. Ah! What? What did you do? That was your own flesh. Far as I know, curse doesn't allow for that. Ah! Or son, you tracked me. Deceiver! Hardly. Wanted me to lift the curse? Well, you're welcome.
ideal friend. Patient, doesn't mouth off. Slow now, whoa. With us one more week, Crazy. I know you feel better. Oh, greetings. What may I help you with this time? Morkvarg, got a few more questions. I'll come for my reward. But can you be sure that... Morkvarg's gone, for good. Guaranteed or you'll get your coin back. I shall hold you to that, Witcher. Who grant us love, hatred, and strength. Why does the goddess bring you here? Brought myself here, seems to me. You do not worship Freya. No, but I respect those that do, including her priestesses. This does you credit, but is meaningless as well. For Freya rewards and punishes those of other faiths and infidels as she does her own. Worship her and it will help, though it will settle nothing. What do you need? Mind if I have a look at your wares? Farewell. Welcome to the Temple of Freya. I'm Kirisu. How can I help? You a novice? Because I'd never take you for a priestess. Truly? Hmm, you've got a good eye. Though a bit off in this case. I'm neither a priestess nor a novice. I escaped a pirate ship, was wounded. That's why I'm here. Sisters Astrid and Dala found me on the beach, near dead. They brought me to the temple, watched over me. I owe them my life. Quite the adventure. Got a home to go back to, or will you stay here? I've a brother in Ord Skellig. He's surely mad with grief searching for me. Once I'm better, all better, I'll find a longship and head home. So long. You who grant us love, hatred, and strength. <laughs> <laughs>